Welcome back to Small Cap Recap, everybody. Running out of dance moves, trying to think of some new jazz, you know, some pizzazz, not jazz. Long day. I'm pretty tired. Long day as in the market sucked, so I left midday. Uh, went golfing with Roland Wolf, and man, it's hot here. Let me tell you, it's really hot, really humid, and I'm really not good at golf, so all those add together, and I had to work really hard out there. Covered in sweat in a mix of sunscreen. It's kind of nasty. I'm going to go home and shower right after this. Uh, also, yesterday was so weird because yesterday wasn't really hot either, right? Like I said, I was going home and taking a nap because I was exhausted and I fell asleep like 10 minutes after I got home and just went into this trance almost. Like I think I had like a night terror because I woke up. I think I went to bed at like 530, woke up at eight o'clock and I couldn't move. It was the weirdest thing. And then I went back to bed like right at nine. So I clearly needed some sleep. Um, and I think that kind of helped me like keep my head straight today. Uh, like I think whatever I've got right now, it's like just allergies because allergies are really, really bad in Texas if you're not from here. And I am not from here. Um, so yeah, that like that uh, getting rested up definitely helped me to have a clear enough head to say, let's not be in front of the market all day where I know I will trade. So that being said, uh, I ended the day up like $400, I think, really light, sized way down, and it paid off. I basically hovered between up 1000 and down 1000 for most of the day, came back for power hour, had a couple of nice little trades, and because I think I was red when I left for golf around $150, and I made a couple hundred bucks back at the end of the day. Just not the market I feel comfortable playing with size in, I'll, especially on the long side right now. I'm in the mindset that every top percent gainer is a trap. Like for the most part, the setups that I like to take, they almost always seem to get stuffed. And you know, that being said, like I don't really feel the need to trade them right now, which is why the ones that I do like, they still kind of have been traps. So I've sized way down, just kind of playing with smaller size and you know, not, I'm staying really scalpy in this market. This isn't the market I want to overstay my welcome. And, you know, before we get over the charts, I'm actually going to show you a watch I have for tomorrow. For those of you that aren't in small cap, uh, small cap rockets, I kind of want to show you one stock I'm looking at. Uh, and just, I mean, this is one of many that I'll have in my watches tomorrow, but you know, we talk about some patterns on here and talk about trades we have taken. I'll show you a trade that I, I'm not saying I'm going to take it, but if it sets up correctly, that I will have an eye on. Let's get over into the charts. So my biggest win today was NLSP, actually right out of the gates. Um, the first you know, 15, 20 minutes are basically the only time I'm going to be comfortable using size, like decent size, and it's still way less size than I would have used back in the day. NLSP, uh, this dipped right out of the open and then recovered. And I took, I think... 7,500 shares here at 270s. I don't remember the exact average I had. Sold into 291. It must have been 278, actually. Sold into 291, which is really nice. Bought back in right here again at actually 278 and sold into this pop into 290. Um, nice, you know, it was a nice, simple little trade. I think I made like 1,400 bucks on it. And then I took a couple, I think I actually took like three, the, my biggest loss today was only like $400, but I took three in a row on trying to be stupid, buying a, trying to scalp a dip on FLGC. Uh, let's see. It was way down. Oh yeah, they are popping. They released their revenue or something. Uh, down here, I liked, I liked uh, this consolidation right here. It took a little bit and then it failed. Um, and I don't remember the other ones. I, again, they were pretty small losses, so I wasn't that concerned. It was just, that was when I decided to go golfing. I was like, okay, yeah, it's, uh, this is not a market I want to stick around for. A uh, quick little, you know, some insights. Sorry about that allergy sniffle there. Uh, kind of things that I was thinking about. Oh man, I didn't even see PMCB ripped this morning pre-market. I didn't even see that. I just saw the offering. With VRPX going crazy, everyone wants the next one. Everyone wants the next VRPX. And so you have this after hours pre-market action, right? Like this is sign number one that it wasn't going to be the next VRPX. Just little mini pop, fade back under close. Pop again and very low volume. 
th- this was a very this company was very smart. They were banking on the fact that everyone wanted this to be the next VRPX, and they were able to raise a lot of money because VRPX had a really crazy gap up. Uh, well, in both after hours and pre market, again, this right here should have been the clear sign that this is not going to be the next VRPX. Um, and so should all these traps. And the fact that a lot of people probably swung it thinking this was going to have a really nice gap. And it did at like 4 a.m., but there was just no volume traded on this. So, yeah, and VRPX today actually had a really nice dip by opportunity. Uh, I just, I think I just got back uh, when this was happening. And I still didn't like it enough to, yeah, because it was always up by view up at the time I saw it. And it was, you know, missed it. Uh, traded a little, I scalped a little bit of DATS, D-A-T-S. Um, I actually didn't even alert this trade in small cap rockets cause it was so scalpy. Like I was in and out within the same minute for the most part. Um, you know, like right here to here, uh, where else was it? Oh, right. It was after five. Oh yeah. Right. 490. It's like 502, uh, right here up to five, you know, just like within the same minute. And I don't have time to type that out, but little, little tiny little scalp opportunities and, now I'm not saying this is how quickly I'm scalping every trade this market, but that's kind of the mindset is like the entry spots that I like, they work for like half a second. It seems like, uh, we'll even go here with snow. So right here, I took like 500 shares, figured it was going to be a trap sold into this pop. Uh, and that was about it. Uh, GovX running after hours, kind of interesting. I'm not going to touch it, but just, you know, this is kind of the market too, right? Where like the after hours moves seem to be more effective than the, than the mid, like the main day moves, right? Like, I mean, look at this, this was, uh, this was nice. Oh, there was one more too. Uh, ENS, oops, not ENSC, uh, C. I actually butchered this one. I had a pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of shares on it. So I had 6,000 shares from 395 right here. And th- this was just scaring the crap out of me. It was a daily, I think it's recent uplisting, which is sketchy enough. Yeah, recent uplisting, reversal idea. But the, the, the way it was trading just scared me way too much for a potential dump. So I sold into the high day break at like 4.15 or something like that. And then it ended up working really well after the halt. It had a really nice uh, resume. It's okay. I'd rather be too safe than too sorry in this market. Uh, now let's go over. Where was I going to go? Oh, yeah. The uh, kind of something I'm looking at for tomorrow. And I'll show you why, right? SGOC, I liked it a lot first green day. And now this, so for those of you that always ask, this is kind of the idea of a third day surge, right? Day one, consolidate, and hopefully for a uh, you know, rip tomorrow. But it's got to set up a lot of ways. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of, to, of intraday action to set up, but something I'm watching for tomorrow, something that will obviously be in the small cap rockets watch list. This is one of many, just kind of want to show you guys that daily pattern I'm looking at. We talk about it all the time. So yeah, guys, that's all I've got for today. Really light day. It basically paid for my round of golf and a couple golf balls and a couple drinks. So that being said, I'm out of here. I need to go shower so bad. I'm actually disgusting, but uh, if you guys are new to the channel, obviously be sure to subscribe and hit the like button for us if you know these have helped you or even if you just enjoy watching. I know at the very least we can kind of be entertaining, but I'm excited for Matt to be back because I, I talking to a camera is one thing, but talking to a camera and a friend right here, you know, hold on. Pretend Matt's here. Talking to a camera and someone else can be a little bit more fun. But like I said, oh, leave a comment. You know, how have you been doing this week? It's been a really, besides VRPX, in my opinion, a very slow, hard, choppy week. Let me know how you've done down here in the comments below. And uh, guys, we'll see you for Friday. Hopefully we can have a Friday short squeeze. We hope you guys enjoyed that last video. Thanks so much for watching and being a part of the Stocks Trade community. We wouldn't be here without you guys. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but we can't do it without your help. So if you enjoy what we're putting out and want to hear more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.